Hello everyone, in this video let us talk about uh, the limitations of uh, Portfolio New Jira Experience. Recently I made one video about uh, the new version of a Portfolio that was released recently and uh, this uh, new version is basically called as uh, the new experience and in this particular uh, version portfolio not only looks totally different but the way it behaves is also quite different from the old version of portfolio or i should say the live plan that most of you are familiar with so in this video i just want to highlight these these new features or i should say some features or limitations of this new portfolio Jira experience and uh, first of all I like this new version there are some features that are really interesting especially I like the way the uh, roadmap is displayed it used to be scope but now we have a roadmap where you have the list of issues and uh, the schedule is actually presented the visual the visualization of the schedule this uh, roadmap is displayed right next to the uh, issue itself and you can uh, definitely move it uh, manually if you want to do some adjustments which is great uh, however there are some uh, some features that i was not able to figure out i was not able to figure out uh, where i can uh, configure my skills my stages where i can uh, take a look at my capacity report so I was actually doing some research and I found this page on uh, on Atlassian website and they are talking about uh, future releases and some limitations so you can definitely read this page uh, to understand uh, uh, these limitations so let me just go through the main things that I think are worth mentioning if you are uh, thinking of uh, moving to this new portfolio experience and by the way if you install portfolio by default now you will get this uh, view this uh, new experience view and uh, uh, you can always uh, switch back to the old live plan um, functionality so that is a good thing and i believe uh, the support for the classic plans uh, will not be uh, there anymore but uh, i don't see any mention on the atlassian website where they are talking about uh, not supporting the old live plans so i think uh, it is totally up to you if you want to um, enable or disable this new feature or this new jira portfolio experience so moving on so talking about this uh, this new functionality so first of all they are talking about uh, some future releases so there is no commitment on when these uh, feature releases will be released but you can just uh, read this page to understand uh, things that are probably missing that you might be expecting so first of all uh, they're talking about uh, there is no issue detail view so if you go back to your uh, portfolio plan you can uh, click on the issue link here but it will take you to the actual issue it won't really open the issue detail view on the right hand side or at the bottom uh, it is sometimes useful because when you're working on this particular view you may want to look at your issue itself you may want to modify some fields so that is not there uh, they are they're also talking about some visual customizations and i think uh, by visual customization they mean uh, the option to view this particular plan right now you can uh, take a look at this uh, gantt chartish chartish is view but uh, there is no uh, there is there, there are not many other options so you can definitely do grouping based on the assignee or uh, based on the project name and maybe the team that uh, they are currently being used in this particular plan but uh, uh, as compared to the old plan uh, i think this view is a bit uh, limited so i think they are talking about this uh, visual visual customization customization so and 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 this is something that i believe they will definitely improve but there are some other things that you need to be aware of that are probably not there and uh, they might not uh, bring in those uh, new features so first of all there is no concept of dynamic release dates 
that you might be familiar with in your old, old portfolio life plan. Uh, there are there, there is no way to do flexible coloring options. And I was actually looking for the reporting functionality, which is not there. So there are some useful reports in the old portfolio version, like capacity management, dependency report, and uh, there are some other reports that are quite uh, uh, helpful. But uh, in the new version, there is, there, there is no such mention of these reports. There are some other limitations, and I think I'll probably mention a few other limitations that I think um, are worth mentioning. So in the new version, you cannot really sort the columns in your plan. You, can, you cannot also reorder the columns. So when you're looking at these columns, I don't think you can uh, change the position. You can definitely uh, bring in more columns, but uh, I don't really see the option to just, you know, reorder them. Maybe I want to display assignee first and then target start and target end later. So I, I don't think I can do that. Uh, what what else uh, do we have? So of course, you can take a look at this particular page, but I'm just trying to um, highlight some important things. Uh, so functionality removed. So these are the functionalities uh, that are removed in the new version. So you don't have stages and skills. Some people actually use portfolio because they like the concept of skills and stages. Um, so this is something that you should be aware of if you're trying the new G experience. And um, um, definitely uh, you, you can also take a look at this page to go through each and everything. But uh, these are some of the main things that I wanted to mention in this video. And I thought I'll, uh, uh, I mean, I, I'm also trying to learn this new portfolio, these new sort of features in portfolio, uh, new experience. And I'll probably make a couple of more videos just to update you guys as as I also learn new things and discover new things in the new version of portfolio. So I hope this uh, video was useful. Thank you very much.